I'm not a beaten man. I'm an angry and defiant man. I've said that I bend, but I don't break. And believe me, I'm not broken. And now, a page from our Sunday morning almanac. May 8th, 1987, 29 years ago today. Gary Hart officially dropped out of the race today. He made a statement. He took no questions. The day former Colorado Senator Gary Hart quit the Democratic race for president in the face of a media frenzy. Now, clearly under present circumstances, this campaign cannot go on. A media frenzy many remember today solely by this photograph of Hart and a woman named Donna Rice on the dock next to a yacht called Monkey Business. I do not have to answer that question. The question was, have you ever committed adultery? And Gary Hart never really answered it. Just a few days before he had dropped out, an anonymous tip about a possible affair had led Miami Herald reporters to confront Hart outside his Washington townhouse. Their story ran the next day. The very same day, the New York Times printed quotes from an earlier Hart interview. When asked about rumors of infidelity, he had answered, follow me around, I don't care, I'm serious. If anybody wants to put a tail on me, go ahead. They'd be very bored. Gary Hart fled to his mountain retreat in Colorado Thursday. To boring, it was not. With that statement giving them license, the media launched into full scandal mode. I'm a proud man and I'm proud of what I've accomplished. And within a week, candidate Hart announced the inevitable. I refuse to submit my family and my friends and innocent people and myself to further rumors and gossip. It's simply an intolerable situation. Not content with a simple statement of withdrawal, Gary Hart went on to deliver this lecture. We're all gonna have to seriously question the system for selecting our national leaders that reduces the press of this nation to hunters and presidential candidates to being hunted. For all of Hart's protestations, the release of that monkey business photo was all most people needed to see. And with that incident, the precedent of non-stop 24-7 coverage of the personal failings of politicians from both parties was firmly established. Something all candidates, current and future, ignore at their peril. At least in spirit, I will be with you. Thank you very much. <laughs>